Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit different of a format with just facing the cards and um, I'm gonna do a little bit of different format with um, the message that I'm gonna be doing. We do have the 1212 portal coming up and I've been seeing um, a lot of different uh, YouTubers talk about the Twin Flame connection lately and how um, there's been a lot of unions and um, a lot of like really positive things going on. Um, I you know do a lot of focus on twin flame readings but i've been noticing some different energies currently in my life so um i wanted to just do a twin flame check-in before we um we get into our 1212 readings that i'm going to be doing later on in the week all right so i'm just going to currently see what the energies are in general between the divine counterparts right now and start off with that all right so I'm using the Mystic Moon Oracle deck here, and I'm gonna just start off. All right, so I've got third party, okay? So this is actually the energy that I was um, thinking about. There may be some sort of interference, okay? And it might not even be um, a, another lover, it could just be another energy that's involved that's creating um, a third, um, an interference in this energy, okay? So it could just be someone else that's come into the equation that's having an influence on either the divine masculine and divine feminine or just their relationship in general, okay? I'm getting spring here, all right? So there could have been something that um, happened significantly in the spring. Spring could just be a significant time for you and your connection, or it could be um, something that's like blooming or blossoming, some sort of relationship on one of the sides, okay? Flowers could also be significant. Uh, I'm seeing healing here, okay? So remember that everything that comes up in this dynamic is an opportunity for you to heal some old wounds, all right? So if things have been more painful than usual, know that it's an opportunity for healing and that things are happening for you and not to you and your connection, okay? It could really feel like things are getting worse, but things could actually be having like a breakthrough and getting better. And the sun is here too, so I feel like on both sides there is going to be like an illumination and an integration of all of the chakras here, okay? Pull a couple more cards. This third party might have actually come in to facilitate healing in some roundabout way. We've got new direction and settling, all right? So this is another sun kind of card and more illumination here. Um, someone might be taking a new direction in some way and um, it could be you, it could be the person you're dealing with, but I do feel like this is a picture of a divine feminine, so it could possibly be you. And then I have settling here. So let's see what more messages we can get regarding that. Metamorphosis. Yeah, this is what I was talking about with the healing and transformation. And, you know, there's butterflies here. So um, growing out of this situation. Okay, so it could be something that's triggering you, but that's helping you to grow. All right. So I'm going to pull from the wisdom of the house of the night and see what other messages I got for you guys here. Sorry, my washing machine is going right now. Complicated, okay? So I feel like some of you guys might feel like your situation is really complicated and it just keeps getting more and more complicated. Um, there's a moon here as well, and there's two, if that means anything to you, but it could be both parties feel like things are very complicated but i feel like with this moon it could be um complications that start to have more clarity when we do get the full moon or more complications are arising as the full moon approaches okay obedience and high priestess of earth okay so there's a high priestess of every sign here the high priestess is usually um you know, uh, a Pisces energy, water energy, but in this deck, there's one for every element. So this one's for earth. So this is about um, using your intuition, but in a practical way, um, trying to be logical, trying to be very clear with your thoughts, okay? It could also be if you're an earth sign and you're really tapping into your intuition. So this reading could be for an earth sign that's having a lot of intuitions right now, but trusting yourself and trusting your um, you know, your practical intuition here, okay? And then obedience, all right? So this is kind of about 
having control and being obedient on your path, whatever that looks like, and um, obedient to whatever you've already set yourself to be doing here, okay? It also could be someone wanting someone else to obey them or some sort of like control issue because with this image, I feel like but she's also walking blindly here, if you could see, which is more, more like a high priestess energy. So it's kind of being obedient to your spiritual path and not um, questioning it, but just trusting it. I feel like this is a lot about like karma and trust and just it, like knowing you're going in the right path and like being on guard, but also trusting as well. Okay. Very interesting. And I've got playful, all right? And um, it's another sign with the moon, okay? So the moon might bring out some more playful energy. Remember to still find joy even when things are very complicated and things seem very overwhelming, okay? Um, but the cat is like playing with the moon here. So um, maybe play with the energies of this moon and just be open to what it's bringing and, you know, just notice the lightheartedness of things, okay? And the number there is 44. So let's pull some tarot messages and I'm going to start with the mystical cats, which will align with that cat image here. Ace of Earth, another Earth sign energy, Sea Tom, and Fire Kitten. Wow, we've got almost all the elements here, okay? So um, the it's interesting because the, the Fire Kitten is a page of wands, okay? So that's more energy about curiosity and playfulness and um, wanting to like kind of play with fire, but also <laughs> trusting that you're not going to get burned or interesting that it's matching this here. But this is about like a curiosity and wanting to explore things okay and then we've got the sea tom which is um knight of cups so we might be dealing with a pisces energy here there's definitely a romantic energy here of someone that also wants to be playful in more of like a romantic way okay and i'm seeing this ace of earth which is a really positive sign that there's going to be a new stable solid beginning with the ace of earth okay ace of pentacles so more earth sign energy here We've got three of swords, okay? So I do see some heartbreak, and then a five of cups, definitely some heartbreak, and eight of wands, okay? So there could have been some communication that was exchanged with this eight of fire that brought about a lot of pain and heartache, um, some movement of someone in some direction maybe that caused a lot of heartache and grief here. Um, I feel like with this three of swords and that third party, there's definitely a third party that's causing a lot of grief in this situation, okay? So if that's the intuition that you guys have been getting, you're on target with that. And um, let's see what else we can get about that. Seven of Pentacles and four of cups okay so i feel like that four of cups is kind of the heartache like someone felt like they were rejected or they weren't listened to or they weren't paid attention to okay um but i feel like there's some sort of productivity that will come out of this with the seven of pentacles okay so there is going to be a, a, a practical movement forward i've gotten three earth energies here so let's pull some of the shadows and see what are some of the shadows of this current dynamic All right, so I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna do um, two shadows for each, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, and then I'm gonna pull a couple cards over them, okay? So you know what, I'm gonna take these. Okay, now, this is the Shadows cards. So these two are going to be from the Divine Masculine, okay? I'm not going to turn them over quite yet. And these are going to be for the Divine Feminine, all right? 
Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, and now I'm gonna get clarifying cards for each side, okay? So, for the Divine Masculine, I'm gonna pull from the signs from Spirit. And I'm gonna pull two cards from there. And then for the Divine Feminine, I'm gonna pull two from here, okay? And then, oh, you know what? Okay, well, I was gonna pull from the Alqui. I'm gonna pull um, one card for how the masculine is viewing the feminine from the Alqui, and then one card for how the feminine is currently feeling, what kind of energy she's in, okay? So let's see what we got here. Okay. So for the masculine, we've got manipulation and childish. Okay. So this masculine is not fully awakened. As we can see, he's engaging in a lot of childish behaviors, a lot of manipulative behaviors. He's not being quite genuine. He's trying to manipulate situations, but as we know, that will always backfire. Um, this is interesting. I feel like he's kind of in outer outer space. Like he's not, um, he's just not quite in touch with, uh, with reality here, okay? The things he's doing, I don't think he's realizing the effects they have. He's kind of like an outer space, okay? He's not, he's not very rooted in reality and he's not very grounded in what he's doing. So I feel like he's kind of foolishly manipulating things. And look what I have here, dreaming and luck and ladybug, okay? So I feel like luck has really been on his side. He might be someone that things are very lucky for him. But dreaming mushrooms is also, like I was saying, he's just not quite in reality. He might even be on drugs, literally, with that mushrooms. But I feel like he's always used to things going his way, and he can do whatever he wants, and, um, you know everything will turn out right for him but you know whatever energy we put out there is what we get back so if he's being manipulative it could have also been something that happened around the halloween time with that pumpkin okay how he's viewing the feminine is she who guides okay new path guide and renewal so despite this i feel like he still looks to her for um guidance he still is uh renewed with her presence okay i still feel like there's something um, about her that like still inspires him and invigorates him and is guiding him on this path so the things he's doing the um, intentions that he has are still kind of almost he feels like he's like weaving this web with manipulation but I feel like the the feminine actually has a lot more control because it's like to get a certain reaction from her or to have a certain effect on her and it's still being guided by some kind of reaction that he wants from the feminine okay so that's the masculine side here. Now, the feminine, we've got emptiness and distant, okay? So the feminine feels quite empty. I feel like maybe she doesn't feel, like I said, I got the five of cups and the three of swords. She kind of feels like without him being on her side, she feels quite empty. She feels quite distant from him. What's interesting though here is like, this is kind of like an outer space thing. And so is this, okay? So I feel like even though this, with this childish, like you see with him, this was outer space, or it could be her, but I'm just talking easy, masculine, feminine. And then with her, she feels like she's in outer space. So it's like, they're both kind of out in the solar system, very disconnected. And because of it, she's feeling very feminine, okay? This is very interesting. So I talked about, um, she's the guy, right? So I have dominance. So as much as he's manipulating things, it seems like she's more, in control than she feels or thinks okay and also this could be a Taurus that you're dealing with or even an Aries but it's like a bull and it's like someone that's very dominant and strong and like you're a lot stronger than you think okay if that's who you're watching if that's the feminine watching and then I got fate okay so I feel like this fate card is a lot about like playing the right cards um also knowing 
that things are fated despite what's going on here and everything's planning like going according to this like divine plan okay um and i just feel like um she might feel like she has to play all these cards in order to create less distance but i feel like it's not really up to her it's more so up to her fate now for the feminine energy i got this name carly that might ring um that might uh, ring a bell for you, but um, she who frees, liberation, unrestrained, and freedom. This is very, very interesting because I feel like this is a lot about not so much the connection, but her freeing herself from being so mentally entrapped in the outcome of what's going to happen with them and what the masculine's doing or feeling or how he's manipulating, and more so for her to just be free, be in her own energy, unrestrained, do what she wants to do, even in this card, she has so much power, okay? She's, like, kind of controlling the ocean. So this could be, like, you with a water sign. But I feel like the key for her and where she's at right now is she just wants to be free. And she just wants to be liberated from the crazy emotional um, roller coaster of this dynamic, okay? So I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Uh, from the tarot and see you know what I'm gonna do um tarot sexual magic and just see some of the the desires on both sides okay and then I'm gonna um pair them with the twin flame messages volume two right so I'm gonna pull two from the masculine and two from the feminine okay and then I'm going to pull two of these all right twin flame messages volume two and see what their higher selves want to communicate to each other Inside out, I'm about to show all you folks what it's all about. I don't know why, but two of these are upside down and two of them are upright, so that's how it goes. Time for me to get on the mic. <laughs> okay, that song's in my head now. All right, so I've been getting this a lot for the masculine lately. Wow, yep. All right, I pulled these cards earlier and cards don't lie. Okay, so with the masculine, I've got another Taurus energy here with Hierophant. Uh, could be sun, moon, rising, could be cross watcher, whatever, what have you, whatever resonates. But we've got the tower. Also, we've got this masculine that feels like he's in control, but there's a force behind him. And he might even see, you know, sex as a form of control or being dominant. So he feels like if he's the one in charge of the sex, then he's in control. But there's still like another force here, okay? Look at this. These are both him thinking he's in control sexually and even like the third party thing, having multiple women here. But as we know, the tower is like things are about to fall apart. OK, so he might have engaged in a lot of sexual behaviors that are going to come back to bite him in the ass if he's in a third party type situation. Um, he just might be kind of arrogant and think that he's impervious. Like I said, with the childish energy, like he does these manipulative things and he's always had that luck that he could get away with it. But as you could see, there's something still lurking in the background. Like it's almost like that guy is like the consequences of his actions. So he's very, it appears like he's very strong and in control, but there's really an outside force here. Okay. And the tower is pretty significant. So he might not see it coming, but there's something that's about to fall upon him. But then we've got, I still remember the good times we shared and you are never far from my mind, all right? So he might be sexually desiring his feminine, having memories of their sexual times together, maybe even ways that he, you know, did her wrong in sexual ways. He's remembering the good things though. And he's very still much like 
entrenched in this situation and I feel like part of why he does what he does he still wants to be able to control it because he still cares about his feminine and you know what's happened between them and he feels like if he can remain in control and remain dominant even though as we saw the feminine had the dominant card then he can control the situation but as you could see you know there's a tower that's about to happen so he's really not in as con much control but I feel like those cards are saying it's coming from this place of being nostalgic and him still being stuck in the past okay and now we've got temperance okay for the divine feminine the fool interesting okay so this is also that free card i feel like there's like gonna be this pivotal point where the feminine just wants to start brand new she wants a new beginning she might have also played the fool in the past but i feel like temperance is also about harnessing that divine counterpart energy and having balance and her i think a lot of the feminine's lessons have been about her tempering her energy and that's like a fire and water and learning how to balance and do things in moderation and not go overboard not to react have that high priestess energy of trusting the situation and letting things unfold as they do okay and then for the feminine i got i'm trying to take responsibility for my actions please know this and it's really hard for me to open up okay so some feminines watching this I feel like there's a part of the feminine that also feels like she's sorry but she doesn't want to open up because she doesn't trust that the masculine is going to not take that information and like use it against her because he's already hurt her so much as we saw with the three of swords so I feel like she wants to take responsibility for when she wasn't having a lot of temperance but she doesn't trust that the masculine is going to use that information in a kind way because he's acted very manipulative in the past so it's really hard for her to open up so I feel like both sides are really learning these lessons about their shadows which is what the twin flame journey is all about the masculine and his need for control and his need to you know, grow up and get out of that childish manipulative mentality and for the feminine to, um, you know, love herself and be the ultimate empress, but also like being able to be vulnerable without feeling like it's going to be the death of her, be another emotional heartbreak and also for her to harness her emotions and to trust her intuition. Okay. So guys, that's the message I have for you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.